This is the story of two men on a journey. One afternoon, two men were walking along the road from Jerusalem to Emmaus. It was a long journey on foot, and these two men were followers of Jesus, so they had a lot to talk about. They were discussing the rumour they'd heard that some of his friends had seen him alive again. So they talked and walked and walked and talked as they made their way along. Suddenly, a stranger joined them. I hear you talking and I see you walking, said the stranger. You sound excited. What are you talking about? We're talking about Jesus of Nazareth, said one of the two men. And as he walked, and he explained, Jesus was a prophet sent from God. He did amazing things. He healed the sick. He even brought people back to life again. He fed the hungry. He taught us so many wonderful things. Many of us thought he was the special one God promised to save us from our enemies. But the religious leaders sentenced him to death. The Romans killed him on a cross and all of our hopes have died with him. That was three days ago. But this morning, some of the women who knew him went to visit his tomb and his body wasn't there. Better still, an angel told them Jesus wasn't dead anymore, that he was alive again. The stranger listened carefully and then talking and walking and walking and talking, he told the two men what he thought. You sound surprised, he said, but isn't that what the prophet said would happen to the special one? It's in the scriptures. If this G Jesus died and came to life again, then surely that shows he is the special one you've been waiting for. At last they came to Emmaus. It's late, said the two men to the stranger. Why don't you stay with, here, with us tonight? And so they went into the house and prepared a simple meal. Do you mind if I give thanks for the food, asked the stranger. Of course not, said the two men. So taking the bread and breaking it, the stranger bowed his head and prayed. And that's when the two men knew. The stranger, the man on the road, the one they'd been talking and walking with all afternoon, wasn't a stranger at all. He was Jesus, alive again. But before they could say anything, Jesus disappeared. He simply wasn't there anymore. And they were left alone to wonder. We need to tell someone about this, they cried. So they hurried back to Jerusalem, not walking, not talking, but running and jumping for joy.